The safety of local schools is in the spotlight yet again. Eagle County officials spent today asking for more deputies. Sheriff Greg Ewing presented his final proposal this afternoon. News 10's Jacqueline Beavis is in the studio tonight. She found out exactly how authorities plan to move forward from here and has more on tonight's top story. Jacqueline? Mark Patrice, since the tragedy in Connecticut, every school continues looking at their own security. But the question remains, what's the best way to keep the community's smallest members safe? Well, according to Vigo County Sheriff Greg Ewing, his proposal is the next step. <laughs> Deputy Larry Hopper walks these hallways often. You might even call him popular. It's nice to come in and let the, the kids see uh, deputies or officers in a positive uh, environment. It's also nice for parents to see deputies parked outside the school doors. Basically, I have three schools. I've got Otter Creek, Lost Creek, and Rio Grande. Um, I'm typically at one of those schools at 7.30 in the morning uh, for school drop-off, uh, walk around and check the security of the doors of the buildings. Deputy Hopper spreads out his time between the three schools. It works for now, but Sheriff Ewing's proposal puts the emphasis on more officers and more time. Uh, my request is to the county council uh, to provide $135,000 in funding uh, to be matched with the school corporation. That will allow me to put 10 uh, special deputies in our 10 rural schools. The sheriff found a large support staff for his proposal. The Safe School Task Force seems to be on board. When you talk about priorities, there's nothing more important than the safety and security of your, your citizens, especially our children. And after a couple months at local schools, Deputy Hopper feels the movement as well. The deputies in the school and the squad car outside is what we need to protect our children. Now, the council will assign this to a committee at the February meeting. It'll go before the full council in March. The school board will hear the proposal at their meeting on Monday evening. While talking with officials today, the comment was made, this is an investment you hope you never need. But, of course, county officials call it absolutely necessary moving forward. Mark Patrice. Thank you, Jacqueline. Coming up tonight, we'll take another look at this story. Lawmakers and county leaders agree the security is needed, but here's a big question. Who's going to front the bill? News 10's Matt Gregory gets that answer tonight on News 10 Night Watch. That's at 11, 10 Central, right here on News 10.